So let's talk about the control, the this this site a little more. Um, the control or the the best sites feature is controlled by some weighting factors that are set in the settings under plan or, plan or control. Mm. There are several different uh, parameters. One of them has to do with the minimum altitude and the maximum altitude. Um, we don't want to shoot bodies that are too close to the horizon or directly overhead. So we can set the cutoff values for the altitudes. The star pilot will only display bodies that are within those altitudes in both the plot and the site planner and the best sites. Also, we don't want to shoot bodies that are too dim. So again, the star pilot pro provides you a cutoff and you can control that. So you can say, I don't want to shoot any bodies that have less magnitudes than two because they're not going to be very visible or easy to observe. There's also some factors that control the goodness or what Star Pilot considers to be the goodness of the um, of the uh, of the site. So basically, what we have here are some grid weights. Um, we have some weights that that are used for computing the goodness of the site. The grid weight has to do with how close a particular body is to a grid of 120 degrees. So we want our bodies to be approximately 120 degrees apart so that we get good crossing on our LOPs when we're computing fixes. So the grid weight controls how close or how important it is for a body to be on the grid. So the higher the value, the more the, the harder StarPilot tries to compute um, best sites that are with bodies that are 120 degrees. Magnitude controls the brightness. We don't. We want our bodies to be approximately the same brightness. If you're shooting a really bright star and a really dim star, well, that makes it a little more difficult. And so there's a weighting factor that controls the the uh, brightness or how even brightness the star should be in the site planner. Um, we don't give it too high a weight, 0.2 in this particular instance, which means that uh, we'll be a little flexible on the brightness, but if having everything be the same brightness is really important to you, you can increase the magnitude weights so that the brightness is the same for all three bodies. And final, finally, the altitude. We want the altitudes to be approximately the same. Uh, that keeps us from having to make large adjustments to our sextant when we move from body to body. Uh, the default values give this very little weight, um, but again, you can control those, wa those values. Uh, the sum of all the weights should be one with larger values having more weight than smaller values. Um, the grid, the step and the slop have to do with actually computing the grids. The slop is um, what the maximum amount of deviation from a grid uh, is permitted when doing the stars. In this case, it's 16 degrees. And the step is how fine, um, when computing the plot, how fine a uh, step we want to use uh, when trying to construct our grids. Uh, smaller steps will give you more precise or give you um, give you better computations on the on the actual plot itself, but take a lot longer. Uh, larger steps again are much faster, and so eight is a good compromise. So you shouldn't have to, in normal operation, change the uh, values of the step in the slot. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Those are our star, pilot, star finding and our site planning features of the star pilot. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for future tutorials. Um, this is Lewis wishing you all happy navigation and until, until next time, uh, take care.